As you just heard, Michael, the other big concern with the weather is that flooding. And those who live along the Grand River in both Kent and Ottawa counties are being warned tonight to watch out for the flooding and the ice jams over the next several days. 13 on your side's Andrea Flores joins us now live along the Grand River in Grand Rapids with the impact the rising water is having across West Michigan. Andrea? Juliet, you can definitely hear the Grand River behind me flowing very fast. And then here at 6th Street Park, the water is definitely coming up a little higher than it normally would on the sidewalk here. And both emergency management leaders in Kent and Ottawa County say that the flooding is mainly affecting those who normally experience it. The vehicles probably won't be able to access uh, all of the homes in the area much longer. Streets like this off of Jupiter Avenue Northeast and River Drive are closed off as the Grand River sits just above flood stage right now. Unfortunately, today we got a little bit of bad news from the Weather Service. Uh, they are expecting some more rain over the next couple of days. Matt Grozier with Kent County Emergency Management says with about half an inch of rain on the way, they've got a bird's eye view on the Grand River. They're looking out for weak spots in the ice where sheets or chunks of ice can break off and get stuck, blocking the flow of the river. And there's just a tremendous amount of water uh, pushing against that ice jam. And, and you know, if there's one thing that we know about water is it's going to go wherever it can go. It's going to go where it wants to go. Adding more fluid into the whole system right now isn't really what we need. While Kent County hasn't seen ice jams yet, it's a different story in Ottawa County. We developed an ice jam uh, near Robinson Township on Saturday. It's since moved west a bit to Connor Bayou. What we're seeing of the broken up ice is that it's significant in thickness. So the ice that's breaking up, there's a tremendous amount of force behind it, and that ice is four and five inches thick. As for its direction, it's hard to tell for both the National Weather Service and Ottawa County Emergency Management. They aren't even able to say with prediction how it might function um, because every ice jam is kind of individual and unpredictable. The National Weather Service is expecting the Grand River River levels to go down starting this coming Saturday and county leaders say that will be a slow process. So that means if you live around or are driving near the Grand River to have an emergency plan and supplies at the ready if needed. And if you come across flooding, remember to turn around and don't drown.